Still to this day, my biggest win has been using AI to automate any process, and I'm pumped to share some major updates with you in that area. Most importantly, how you can connect these AI systems to the world so they can actually do stuff for you. By the end of this video, you'll know how to use make.com to build powerful AI automations that connect to over a thousand different apps. Look, if you're still struggling to use AI for automation, I wanna let you know that you are definitely not alone. While these tools can be fun to experiment with, they often fall flat on their face when you're trying to build something that's actually useful in your day-to-day -day life. Make.com is especially tricky because it's so versatile. It took me months of messing with it to figure out the shortcuts that I'm gonna show you today. Quick hint, don't start with your process. Start with your tech stack. What I'm about to show you has the potential of saving you hours each week, but perhaps more importantly, it's gonna open up a world of new money-making opportunities for you. Trust me, people will pay you to implement the things you're gonna learn today. In the past year, I've taught thousands of people how to automate their processes using AI. In today's example, I'm gonna show you how to build a smart news aggregator that goes out and finds the news that you care about, summarizes it, and drops it in whatever tool that you want. This is how I keep up with everything that's flying at me every day. But make sure to stick around to the end of the video where I show you how to build a custom learning plan for automating your unique processes. Here's what we're getting into today. This is basically the make.com tutorial that I uh, wish I had as a young automator. We're starting with modules, modules, modules. Understanding these is core to understanding how make.com works. And I'm gonna give you some tips on where to start and how to break down your day into multiple processes so you can begin to think about how best to automate all the things that you do. I'm gonna walk you through some really cool examples that I'm excited about. This is a smart news feed aggregator, chaining together RSS feeds, AI, and Notion, which is a tool I use quite a lot. And then we're gonna get into the road to mastery, so how you can really go to the next level and master make.com and automate things, not only just in AI, but that interact with all the different software that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. Everything in Make revolves around two different things. The scenarios are basically the automations. These are the step-by-step -step processes, the workflows that automate different things. And inside of those are the modules. So these are the specific units, the different integrations, the different software stacks and actions that you take uh, while you're performing your process. So understanding the modules, like I said, is key to understanding make.com. And it's very, very confusing to figure out what's going on because there are definitely over a thousand in there and there's just a little search box. There's no definitive list of all of these. So that's what I want to go through today. It starts with triggers. Any scenario, any process that we're working on inside of there starts with some sort of a trigger. Common triggers are maybe when an email comes in, that is a watch email trigger. There's also web hooks or different ways to schedule things to happen every single day or once a week. After triggers comes action. So what are we going to do? What are we going to send an email? Are we Are going to update a record of our database? Are we going to upload some files? Are we going to post something to social media? Also, there's these search modules. So searching through different records, searching through databases, looking up information. And then this was pretty brand new to me, these aggregators and iterators. I'm gonna show you exactly how important these are, but they look through text, look through databases and iterate over items. So if you're new to the Blazing Zebra channel, I wanna welcome you and thank you for joining me on my mission of helping marketers, entrepreneurs, and people all over the world learn how to use these powerful new AI tools. If you're getting something out of these videos, please consider checking out my Patreon. Like I said, there's a cheat sheet to this video and over a hundred others there that are all instantly available to anybody who supports this channel on Patreon. I've also got some coaching options in there as well. So in addition to all those categories of modules, there is the AI category. A lot of people lump this in with the actions but I think you could argue that it is its own category as it is such a powerful action. Next, I wanna get into where do you even get started with this stuff? That was a challenge for me. I often would start with some very complex scenario and I'd quickly get bogged down in all of the minutia and basically give up. One way to start that's been helpful for me is just picking a couple of these different integrations. What type of software do you use more than any other? And start to master those modules first. So I use Notion all day, every day. Obviously, I use AI all day, every day. So I decided to focus on these, and that really helped me get started and finally get some traction with Make.com. So think to yourself, what tools do you use all the time? Maybe it's Google Docs, maybe it's Gmail, maybe it's Airtable. And those those would be the integrations that you might want to focus on first. 
Next, you wanna think about your day in terms of the input, the processes, and output. So as you're going about your day, the things that you're responsible for, what are the inputs that you need to create those different things? What actions do you need to perform on those inputs to create certain outputs? All right, enough of the chit chat, let's dive into Make and let me show you some of the things that I've been building. So as you might imagine, I spend a lot of my day looking at different news sources for AI and I wanted to figure out a way to automate that. That got me to this RSS feed uh, smart news aggregator system that I want to walk you through next. This was my first version of that where I grabbed the RSS feed link and I used this RSS trigger anytime OpenAI drops something new on their blog. It shows up here and triggers this scenario. From there, I use the HTTP app to grab the web page because the actual content of the blog is not included in their RSS feed. So this module grabs the actual HTML of that website. Then I use the text parser to take the HTML out and turn that into text. I create a transcript for a YouTube short using this module and this prompt. And that is then dumped right into a new Notion page in my Notion software, which is awesome because I live in Notion day in and day out. So it's really cool to see anytime OpenAI publishes anything, Boom, it goes through all these steps and drops a transcript right into Notion. I'm gonna show you exactly how these work in a second. But that really wasn't enough because I wanted it to look through a bunch of different RSS feeds and give me a summary on a weekly basis. So that led me to this next scenario here. This is the same exact thing, except for instead of creating a, a transcript, it creates a summary and it drops that summary into a Notion database. Here's what that Notion database looks like. Very easy to set up. The hard thing I will say was the Notion integration was not that easy. But if you want me to create a video about that, just drop me a comment and I'll be happy to do that. Let me show you how this thing works. It's grabbing that from the RSS feed, parsing it, now creating the summary. You can see this little time indicator and boom, it is in our Notion database. You can see it popping up right here with the title, the date, the URL, and a pretty comprehensive summary. So what I went ahead and did is I just duplicated that and changed the different RSS feed. This one's for Microsoft. I'll go ahead and run that one. And this one is for Archive, which always puts out really interesting information about new AI papers. Back in the Notion database, you can see all of those summaries are here. And the next step was to create a weekly summary. So for this, I used the Notion search objects module into this text aggregator and created a page. I'll show you inside of here. Had to connect it to my database. And this was the trickiest part. I used the new Strawberry model, the new ChatGPT 401. It helped a lot to come up with this, a way of looking back on the database, taking the current date and subtracting seven days to gather up all of the entries from the past seven days. Kind of a tricky part there. This aggregator, really the trickiest thing here was um, mess messing around with the formatting, but it's pretty easy there. One tip there is don't bother with HTML. Just make it, um, just put line breaks in it the way that you would want to see them right in here. And then it drops it onto a Notion page. Here we go. And here is that page in Notion, which has the title, it has the link, the date, the summary of everything that went down. One of the absolute coolest things about Make is how easy it is to share these scenarios. Let me show you this. All you've got to do to share these is to export it. Then it's as easy as creating a new scenario and importing that scenario. So in addition to the cheat sheet, I'm going to have all of the files to all of these scenarios that you can instantly upload directly to your own make.com. And you don't even have to rebuild any of these. You don't even have to learn how to redo those prompts. You'll just have all this stuff ready to go right there by uploading those blueprint files. All right, so we've gone through some of the basics. I have some thoughts on how to really master this stuff. And the one thing I would like to encourage you to think about is going just integration by integration, tackling one per week. So spending some time, if you use Notion, focus on that for a week. If you use Google Docs or you really wanna use it in Gmail, focus on that for you know an hour or so in that first week and rotate through the different categories. Get to learn the different types of triggers, get to learn the different search functions and the aggregators that we talked about earlier 
earlier, be patient because some of these integrations take some wrangling. That Notion integration, like I said, took a little bit of work, but using the AI can really, really help with that. So I can also help if you are interested, uh, jump into the Patreon. I love answering questions in there. And if you have a comment here in YouTube, feel free to drop me a comment, ask me a question in there. I've also got some coaching options in the Patreon. And remember, I've got all of those uh, blueprints. So every single scenario that I showed you today is in there. You can just upload those and get cooking on this stuff with your own RSS feeds, with your own research. Everybody knows there's a lot of information coming at us these days. So I think those smart RSS feed aggregators can be really helpful. Even if you don't use Notion, you can drop them into Google Docs or something easy like that. Um, so yeah, thanks a ton for watching. If you haven't subscribed to Blazing Zebra, there has never been a better time to subscribe to Blazing Zebra. I've got some really cool stuff on the way. And please give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you on the next video.